And here in our next video, we're going to again explore how we can calculate the intensity, but this time we're going to base it on the pressure difference in the uh, sound waves. Remember that in the previous video, we showed you how we can calculate intensity by using the maximum displacement of sound waves, and we also had a relationship between the maximum displacement and the maximum pressure difference. And so if we go ahead, plug this into here, we then get that the intensity is equal to one half times the density of air times the velocity times the, of course, angular frequency squared, and then we multiply that times this quantity right here, which is delta pressure max, divided by the density, velocity, and angular frequency squared. If we now square that left at that right side, we get one half times the density, velocity, omega squared, times the pressure difference maximum squared all divided by the density squared, velocity squared, and omega squared. And right away you can see that the omega squares cancel out. This velocity cancels out one of those, this density cancels out one of those, and so this becomes uh, the pressure difference maximum squared divided by the density, velocity, and of course don't forget the two from the one half. And this is what the equation is over here. So, now I need some numbers to work with. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Let's say that we have a pressure difference, a delta P equal to 0 0.02 atmosphere. Uh, let's say that we have a density of air is equal to 1.29 kilograms per cubic meter. And the velocity of sun in air is equal to 340 meters per second. So, interestingly enough, we can find the intensity of a sound wave simply by knowing the pressure difference in the wave. Of course, the density is pretty standard and velocity of sound in air is pretty standard. So by just knowing that, we should be able to calculate the intensity of sound in air. So we take the pressure difference of 0 0.02 newtons per square meter. We have to square that, divide that by two times the density, 1.29 kilograms per cubic meter and the multiple times velocity of sound in air, which is 340 meters per second. And simply enough, with that, we should be able to figure out the intensity. Let's do that. So 0 0.02, we have to square that. Divide by 2, divide by 1.29, and divide by 340. And this will give me intensity of 4.56, 4.56 times 10 to the minus 7 watts per square meter which again seems like a reasonable sound intensity. If we convert that to intensity in decibels, intensity in decibels is equal to 10 times the log of the intensity that we here calculated divided by the base intensity I sub naught, which of course is one times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. So this is equal to 10 times the log of the intensity we just found, 4.56 times 10 to the minus seven watts per square meter we divide that by 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. Remember, this is the faintest sound that human hearing can hear. So we divide that by 1 e to the 12 minus equals, take the log of that, and then multiply it times 10, and we get 56.6 decibels. There we go. That's how we find the sound intensity. Again, that's about equal to normal conversation between human beings. Very, uh, very quick, very easy to calculate the intensity based upon the pressure difference or based upon the maximum displacement for which of course we would use this equation over there. So now you know how to do that.